Hey guys, within this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the exterior and interior wall tools with using Chief Architect. The objectives of this video will be simple. It will be showing you, one, how to draw the outline or blueprint of your home, two, how to move and reposition your exterior and interior walls once selected, and three, how to find your material list. So, let's begin first thing you're going to do is we're going to go and select a new plan. Now we're going to go to build, we're going to go to wall, and we are going to go to straight exterior wall. Once that's selected we are going to go into our second step which is clicking and dragging our wall to where we want it to go. Now as you can see there are dimensions within this wall. The dimensions for each wall will be measured in feet. This kind of makes it a lot easier for for home builders and designers to actually know like, hey, how much room do I really want or do I need for my room? So I think it's kind of nice to have it specified in feet. Now another great feature about Chief Architect within your uh, within your wall tools is that these dotted lines going across actually measure out exactly where the other wall point was located at. This makes it really, really nice to uh, equal, like equal your distance out or I guess um, make sure everything is straight and even. Now our third step, we are going to go to our automatic dimension tool and we are going to select automatic exterior dimensions. Now, in order to replace or reposition your walls, you can select which wall you want to reposition and you can actually move it over with your keyboard's arrow functions. So, you can either move your, uh, your vertical lines with your left and right arrows, or you can move your horizontal walls with your up and down arrows. And once you have those positioned to where you like, we can go back up to build we can go to wall and we can select our straight interior wall which is our fifth step. Now inserting your ex interior walls is just as easy as inserting your exterior walls. However there is something that I really want you guys to take with you from this and that is do not leave openings for doors like for instance what I just did so the reason as to why I say this is because Chief Architect already gives you the options of filling in your walls with uh, doors door pathways and windows so you don't need to do this extra step in leaving things open plus when you actually have to name a room in order for you to name a room your room must be closed and of course if um, if your door is open you have to take additional steps in closing those doors which is no fun see like I did just right there I double clicked and that would have been an actual room I click in here that's a room I click in there that's a room now once you have uh, once you've had have established your interior walls we are going to go up to 3d we are going to go to camera perspective view and we are going to go to our floor overview to get a better look at what we've created so far. And that looks good. So now that we have our walls built, there's, a, there's one thing we need to find out. We need to find out how thick our walls are as well as what materials will be listed within our walls. Now this is simple. All we have to do is go back to build, oh, build, go to wall. We can we can start checking with our straight exterior walls. We can select that wall and we can double click on it. Now, as you can see, there are plenty of options here concerning materials, thickness, and uh 
just things that can be inserted within your wall. Now, Chief Architect already has a default for your wall options. However, you can change those to however you like. And that is how you insert your exterior and interior wall tools with using Chief Architect. Now, do you remember what steps we've taken in order to do this? If not, I'm going to recap over them. So our first step was going to build and then selecting walls and going to our exterior wall tool. Our second step was clicking and dragging our walls to our designated point that we wanted um, that we wanted our outline to look like. Our third step was going to our auto dimensions tool and selecting our auto exterior tool in order to look at the dimensions of our house. The fourth step was to reposition our exterior walls getting them exactly where we want to be. Um, our fifth step was selecting our interior our interior wall by going to build wall and straight interior wall. And then our last step once we had our interior walls inserted was going to 3D going to our camera perspective view and selecting our floor overview. I hope this has been insightful and in that you guys have a better understanding on how to create your interior and exterior walls. Thank you.